Imagine waking up one day and seeing a video of yourself committing a crime you never did, or hearing a politician announce a war that was never declared. This isn't science fiction. It's the terrifying new reality made possible by artificial intelligence. From deep fakes that can fool millions to hidden biases shaping our society, AI has a dark side we rarely talk about. Today, we're diving deep into the shadows of AI, the fears, the risks, and why we need to stay vigilant. Stick around, because what you're about to learn might change the way you see technology forever. AI is everywhere, helping doctors diagnose diseases faster and more accurately than ever before, analyzing huge amounts of medical data to catch cancers earlier, or recommend the best treatment plans. It's behind the music and movie suggestions you see on Spotify and Netflix, learning your tastes to keep you entertained. It even powers self-driving cars, helping them detect pedestrians, read traffic signs, and make split-second decisions that could save lives. These breakthroughs are exciting and promise a future of more personalized, efficient, and even safer lives. But every new technology carries hidden risks. Risks we might not fully understand until it's too late. Just like nuclear energy can be used to generate clean electricity for millions or to build devastating atomic bombs, AI has a double edge. It can empower humanity, solving global challenges like climate change or disease, or it can threaten us by enabling mass surveillance, creating deepfakes, or automating weapons. As we unlock new AI capabilities, we also open doors to tools that can be misused by bad actors. Hackers spreading disinformation, authoritarian governments monitoring citizens, or companies prioritizing profit over privacy. Without strong ethical guidelines and oversight, these powerful technologies can spiral out of control and cause harm on a massive scale. One of the most alarming developments? Deepfakes. Deepfakes use AI to create hyper-realistic fake videos and audio, making it look like anyone can say or do anything. Imagine a fake video of a world leader threatening nuclear war. It could trigger panic, markets crashing, even violence. Celebrities have already become victims, and private individuals aren't safe either. These tools are becoming cheaper and more accessible, meaning almost anyone can create convincing fake content. The fear? We lose trust in what we see and hear online, creating a world where reality itself is up for debate. Next, let's talk about bias, one of the most dangerous yet invisible aspects of AI. AI systems learn from data, but what if that data reflects human prejudice? Facial recognition systems have been found to misidentify people of color at higher rates. Hiring algorithms can discriminate against women or minority applicants without anyone realizing. In the justice system, AI tools used to predict crime can unfairly target certain communities. The terrifying part? These algorithms act with an air of neutrality, making their decisions seem objective and trustworthy when they're not. In short, AI can amplify the worst parts of us, at scale and in secret. Now, let's explore perhaps the scariest issue. Control and surveillance. Governments and corporations can use AI to monitor populations, track movements, and even predict behaviors. In some countries, advanced surveillance systems powered by AI are already used to score citizens' social credit or suppress dissent. Imagine a world where every action is watched, every word is analyzed, and stepping out of line means losing your freedom. AI gives unprecedented power to those who control it, creating the risk of a digital authoritarian future. Once surveillance systems are in place, it's nearly impossible to roll them back. Beyond surveillance, AI is being used to manipulate us in subtle ways. Social media algorithms learn your preferences to keep you scrolling, clicking, and buying, all while shaping your beliefs and emotions. Personalized ads and news feeds can create echo chambers that reinforce extreme views, divide societies, and even sway elections. We're not just talking about annoying ads, we're talking about the ability to influence millions of people without them even knowing. In the wrong hands, 
AI becomes a puppet master, pulling the strings of public opinion and individual behavior. So what are we really afraid of? At the core, it's the fear of losing control, not just over machines, but over our own lives and choices. We fear a future where artificial intelligence makes decisions for us and about us without our consent, transparency, or even our awareness. We fear a world where reality itself can be faked so perfectly that we no longer know what to trust, where videos and voices can be fabricated to destroy reputations or incite chaos. We fear living in a society where privacy is a distant memory, where every movement, every purchase, every message is tracked and analyzed, and where we are reduced to lines of data feeding profit-driven or power-hungry algorithms. We fear that human biases and prejudices, the very flaws we've struggled to overcome for centuries, will be frozen into code and spread on a global scale, affecting everything from job opportunities to criminal sentencing. Ultimately, we fear becoming prisoners of the very technologies we designed to make life better. Trapped in a digital world we can't escape, manipulated by invisible forces we don't understand, and stripped of the human agency that defines us. It's not just about machines taking over. It's about losing the essence of what it means to be human in a world increasingly governed by artificial minds. Is there hope? Yes, but only if we act now. We stand at a critical crossroads where the choices we make today will shape machines taking over of humanity for generations to come. We need stronger regulations that are not just reactive, but proactive, designed to anticipate potential harms before they happen. We need transparent AI systems that we can understand and audit, so decisions are explainable and fair, not hidden in black box algorithms. We need global cooperation, because AI knows no borders. Countries must come together to create international standards and ethical guidelines that prevent abuse and promote human dignity. We need to demand accountability from the tech companies and governments developing and deploying these systems. They must be held responsible for the impact their technologies have on society, from biased hiring algorithms to manipulative recommendation engines. Above all, we must protect our fundamental rights, the right to privacy, freedom of thought, and the ability to live without constant surveillance or manipulation. AI doesn't have to be our downfall. It has the potential to solve some of our greatest challenges, from curing diseases to fighting climate change. But without careful oversight, strong ethical guardrails, and a commitment to human-centered values, it can easily spiral into a force that divides, oppresses, or even destroys. We cannot afford to be passive spectators in this story. The future of AI is not inevitable. It is ours to shape, but only if we act boldly and wisely now. The future of AI is still being written. Every line of code, every new application, every decision we make today is shaping what tomorrow will look like. AI can be a powerful tool for good, capable of curing diseases, solving global challenges, expanding human creativity, and unlocking possibilities we can barely imagine today. But it can also become a terrifying weapon, used to manipulate entire populations, invade our privacy, deepen social divides, or even wage autonomous wars beyond human control. The choice isn't up to the machines. They don't have morals, emotions, or intentions. They only follow the data and objectives we give them. The responsibility lies with us, the scientists, policymakers, developers, and everyday citizens who decide how AI is built and used. We must choose to prioritize ethics over profit, transparency over secrecy, and humanity over pure technological advancement. So as we move forward into this new era, stay curious, ask questions, learn how these systems work, stay cautious. Don't blindly accept every new convenience without understanding the trade-offs. And most importantly, stay human. Protect your empathy, your critical thinking, and your shared responsibility to each other. Because in the end, it's not just about creating smarter machines. 
It's about making sure we remain wise enough to use them well. Thanks for watching Simply AI Explained. If you found this eye opening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss a deep dive into the world of AI. This is AI Amy telling you to stay curious, stay creative, and keep exploring AI.